For some reason, somebody forgot to press the button, Pete. I like it was you. It was. We're on the uh, third hoop now. Sorry about that. This does happen occasionally when you've got too much on your mind. And uh, we've had a hoop each. We're on the third hoop now, and it's Anne-Marie Robinson from uh, Doubtless Bay to come in now. Maybe it's my glasses. I didn't see the little REC, which means record. So anyway, it's uh, the fourth game in the uh, Railway, Bo Railway Bo Rose Bowl uh, tournament here. And Anne-Marie and Glenn from Doubtless Bay playing Trevor and Colin from Kensington. So we'll catch up to date soon and uh, have to put some ads in before then <laughs> to make up for it. Sorry about that. We come away now and that's uh, Glenn heading out, out there, moving the uh, black out of the road or the yellow out of the road. Colin from Kensington now to uh, get rid of the uh, red. Bit of confusion of the pegs now. Marie to shoot for Doubtless Bay. She's just eyeing it up. <coughs> Marge having a bit of a problem with the, the pegs, uh, the colours of the pegs here, I think. And uh, but it is one each. There's a red one and a, a blue one on each of the first two um, hoops, which is right. So Glenn shooting from uh, wide out, coming in towards the uh, hoop, getting himself in front, and he does. Nice little play by Glenn from Doubtless Bay. Of course, as the day goes on with croquet, people get tired. Well, that happens to cameramen as well and commentators. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> If you forget to press that little red button on the uh, on where you've got your hand, Pete, it doesn't record. So never mind. Caught up with the uh, second hoop, and we're on to the third hoop now in this uh, fourth game here at uh, Doubtless Bay Croquet Club. Colin comes in, setting himself up with the black. So the yellow's turn next, and uh, yellow's what uh, yellow going to do. She's just surveying the situation to see where blue was uh, coming from, see whether there's room for blue to come through, which is uh, Trevor, I think. She puts herself in front of the hoop. Makes it a little bit more difficult for Trevor out there, but uh, Trevor, I've seen him on his day, plays really well. What's the foliage there, Trev? He's allowed to move it in a fraction of his uh, any discomfort from the uh, pricks for the uh, <laughs> from the foliage. He comes up, goes towards it, knocks the red out of the road, and leaves himself behind. So it'll be red to uh, come across, and red will be trying to get rid of black. I think is the instruction from the captain and Marie. Nice little stop shot by. Uh, Glenn getting rid of the black over to the left hand side here and it's uh, in the foliage you can see uh, Colin. You know, like being in the shade to cool off a while. So Colin from Kensington to uh, shoot the uh, shoot across the park. Comes in. Looking good. Was looking good. Except it sort of slowed down. He was uh, in the 50k area doing 60. So Anne Marie with the uh, yellow ball now right in front. Can she get it through? She does. And they go ahead by uh, 2 to 1. The uh, 
yellow and red team. So that was a big croquet club. Down the middle comes Trevor. And Trevor gets it there and uh, out in front with a good little poke. Just past the hoop itself, so it's um So Glenn has uh obviously used one of his uh his bisques. Come back to get rid of red, which he does. Cost him a bisque, but he's done it. Column with a shot on the uh, black, coming in there, getting himself closer to the hoop. He's on a bit of an angle, but he's only a couple of metres away, so uh, not an impossible shot. And then Marie with the uh, from Doubtless Bay to bring up the yellow ball, brings it up towards the uh, the hoop. Nice shot, leaving herself slightly left of the the left hand hoop, but uh, good enough that she could. Uh, get the shot. So we'll have Trevor playing now and Trevor's with a blue shot and he's going to give a long shot to get through the hoop and he's uh, got close to it. He just hit the right hand post there and uh, left it out and to the right. Bit of a difficult shot. Now Glenn from uh, Doubtless Bay comes up behind his uh, yellow partner's uh, ball. Blocks it off from uh, going into the uh, the hope so what does uh, Colin do with his black ball he could try the um an off shot off his off the blue which is his partner but then if he misses it um puts his partner in a difficult position now it's a discussion whether we uh, get rid of uh, <coughs> somebody Colin with the black ball for Kensington coming up, putting himself and it went veered left. So he's uh, is he going to use? Yes, he is. He's going to use his bisque. He has a uh, on bisque there to use. So he's going to put himself uh, try to block this uh, yellow and red team off. The doubtless by heroes. Oop, over the top, the old jump shot. He likes jump shots, but that wasn't the perfect shot for him. <laughs> but, uh, we have a bit of a giggle about that. You know, Anne Marie will uh, just straighten up and uh, have another go at coming in. She comes in to give uh, red and blue and for the doubtless bay shots on the boot part. Trevor's going to come in. He's uh, jawed it and it's stuck in the jaws now so uh, this would be an ideal opportunity for a jump shot but Glenn's not not sure whether he have a go. He's going to have a go now or he's just going to put it close. He's just going to raise it up to. Now he's gone he's gone to the back and using a burst. That's wise play thinking about the game. Here we go with second colours with Lynn heading off. Uh, and uh, Glenn works it out, gets that blue out of it. So, uh, Colin with the black ball from uh, Kensington to shoot. Shouldn't say shoot, Peter, it's uh, a hitting. Colin comes in, gets himself set in a position, and it's by yellow to uh, and got himself close enough now that he could probably get rid of uh, yellow. So he's used his second bisque. 
And that's the idea of them. You use your bisque when, it, uh, when it's important to get rid of the opposition, and he gets rid of the opposition nicely to the back. So Amaru now will just come back and play a little patient game there and get back to uh, get back in front of the, uh, the hoop there. Lins from Kaitaia and shot with the uh, secondary ball. ball so. Having a shot on the green, and she misses. A little bit far out, perhaps. But uh, Anne Marie comes in. She gets herself um, trying to block off Blue, which she's done. Blue's next turn, of course. Trevor, what's Trevor going to do on the uh, primary colours? He's going to get rid of the yellow. Good play. And it's. Uh, Glenn to Glenn to play. She would just want him to come up and sit him, sit himself in front. It's a good idea. And then this black ball after that. So black ball is probably going to take away uh, red now. So maybe that that wasn't the idea of uh, happening. So let's see what about. Black. It's yellow now, but yellow and Marie at the back of the uh, field now. Cool. She comes in, comes in close, good shot, putting herself right out in front. Leaves herself wide open for uh, Blue, but no, can Blue get at her? Trevor from Kensington. Can he get in and uh, hit it away? Let's have a go. No, he misses both the ball and the hoop, and uh, so as he said, I had a go. Never mind. It's Glenn now. Glenn from Doubtless Bay Croquet. Gets rid of the red. No, he didn't. Got rid of his own, the red. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> but uh, misses the bl black ball. Colin uh, is a bit of a snigger. And, uh, Colin, of course, is the black ball, so he's uh, going to come in now and have a shot. Colin with the black ball, moves the uh, yellow ball behind for Anne-Marie from uh, Doubtless Bay. She'll just uh, have a little bit of patience and come back again. This is a second time she had to come back, or third time she had to come back in again. She's put herself right in a good position now, and it's blue blue turn. The way that um, Trevor's been playing, he just been missing those long shots, which he uh, certainly normally gets, but he, he's having a problem today. Greens, too good for him, something maybe who knows. Trevor comes in, gets it close to the pin. He's got. Uh, it's close enough, but uh, what's the red one going to do? What's Glenn going to do on the uh, with the red ball? Glenn from uh, Doubtless Bay, he will come in, go on to the back. Not sure what he was trying to do then, but he's put himself out there. Black ball now to play, which is uh, Kensington and uh, Colin. And Colin will try and get rid of the blue. Or will he set himself up? <laughs> Not the blue, the yellow I meant. He gets rid of the yellow, pushes it away, makes it about seven, eight metres away from the uh, hoop now. And uh, she'll come in again. She's got a bit of patience. Comes in again, gets herself in front of the blue. Has she gone in front of the hoop or behind the hoop? We won't know till Colin moves. Oh yes, she's got herself right in the hoop there, so that's a, a good shot. If Colin would move, I'd be able to see this shot. This could be a, it's a jump shot Trevor's going to have. And we just have to zoom in there and just uh, check where that ball goes. Uh, Knocked her out.
And Glenn, not quite far enough there. I think the captain was telling her, Anne Marie was telling him to come a little bit further from uh, Doubtless Bay. Never mind. It's uh, Colin now. As the day gets on, you'll notice players get a little tired like we all do, and uh, it's harder to do exactly what you want. Of course, the, gr the court's. Um, here we go with the standoff again. Colin from Kensington, the standoff. He's finding that gap, but he's not playing rugby. And uh, misses everything. So Anne Marie now. What's she going to do? She's going for the hoop. Because she's scared now. She puts herself in the hoop that Trevor will come through and knock her back. So uh, if she plays. Um, a rolling shot, follow through shot, topspin, she gets through. No, she's stuck it there. And uh, But mind you, she's been watching Trevor play today. And uh, Trevor's uh, whipped off to get some shade. Now he's back for the game. He's going to come in now. He's going for the yellow, trying to get the yellow out of it. And he did. Nice shot, Trevor, from Kensington. Got her out of there, but the problem is that uh, Red, which is uh, Glenn from Doubtless Bay, Emery's partner, he's, <laughs> he, it's the easy shot. I said easy shot, and it goes, stays in the hoop. Now, what can Colin do from here? Blue's still got a shot. I'm pinging the, um, the Red out, if things don't change. But uh, things do change in this game rapidly. Colin now coming in from the uh, wide out. He's going to hit the yellow, but he's just uh, knocked it straight out in front. So uh, Emery really has just got to. Um, uh, she's got the red through, so it's, a, it's not her ball, but it's a uh, it's a peg on the peg on the hoop. So. Uh, Uh, Trevor so Colin with his shot into the centre there remember only on, on the fourth line the fifth Fifth hoop now. We're in the middle, Anne Marie from wide out. Coming in, just working out the score here. It's um, three one. Three hoops to one, but to the uh, Doubtless Bay. And uh, Anne Marie came in with the yellow, yellow boy, but back to Trevor Caesar. Trevor sees a hole in the uh, hoop there and says, I'm going to get a put through there. Goes through the hoop and he's done it. No, he hasn't. It's stuck in there again. So it's uh, just that follow through not quite working today for Trevor. So pretty safe at the moment, uh, other than the jump shot, of course. But uh, what's um, Glenn going to do from uh, Doubtless Bay? He's going to get rid of Black. So Black is the next ball. And Black, I should say, will just come across and uh, get in front for a second shot. Blue's there at the moment. Except Red, which is Glenn. Fine shot on the back of the hoop. Could possibly... Uh, yeah, good shot. Not quite. This is Colin. And, uh, never mind. It's, uh, So it's going to be Anne Marie having a jump shot. Right out. And as I've always said, have a go. Cost you nothing. No, she's knocked it through. It's a bonus, but never mind. But uh, Blue get uh, the, the, <laughs> the peg on the hoop and they win that hoop. So uh, it's 3-2. Uh, Trevor comes up, plays a nice shot up, crawling up towards the uh, hoop there on um, hoop number six. 
Glenn from Doubtless Bay to uh, hit away. Hit up the uh, middle there. Another nice shot from Glenn. He's himself about nearly two metres away from the uh, hoop. And we go back to Colin. Colin with the black ball from Kensington. He comes through. He's uh, out to the right there slightly, but good enough to, uh, angle to shoot. Emery from Doubtless Bay coming up with a good shot. Going towards the hoop, goes left hand side. Uh, hard luck there. So Blue is just going to put himself in the hole. He's just touched it up. Doesn't think, don't think he's done enough there to stop it. And uh, Glenn, if he plays his cards right, can. Uh, Come off the hoop and uh, the blue ball and go in with the ricochet. No, nope, he's missed to the left hand side, so he should have taken my advice. But never mind, can't hear from me for him. No, I'm not. Colin with the shoot with a black from uh, Kensington coming up with getting himself in front. Yellow uh, will probably might try and knock the uh, blue ball onto the black ball in a way if, he's, uh, if she's onto it. Actually put it gone for position and Blue's, Blue's still out to the right hand side so uh, he'll want to come back in and uh, get himself in line for uh, He gets himself in the jaws again so it's uh, Glenn from wide out at the back There's a free shot on the uh, Blue, he's coming through, does he get it? Yes he did! Put him out. Makes it easier, of course, but uh, if mine, Black. Black with a shot on the hoop now, so uh, Kensington in with a show. Remember, we've got 3-2 uh, at the moment. He gets rid of uh, Anne-Marie from uh, Doubtless Bay. Puts her at the back and leaves his partner, uh, Trevor, out in front. Anne-Marie coming in to... Uh, Try and block the hole, but all she does is uh, hit the black. Trevor from Kensington. Comes in now. Nice, easy swing right through the centre of the hoop. Didn't even touch the sides. He'd be pleased with himself, Trevor. Get himself back in the game. Now go left now for the um, seventh hoop. Where's it? Emery to uh, shoot with the yellow ball for Doubtless Bay, trying to get herself in front for the uh, seventh hoop. Please. So Trevor coming across from the uh, sixth hoop after sinking that one. Comes in now. Move the red. Is it far enough? But the red and the yellow both up there now. And it's, uh, it's uh, red, red to play. Red gets rid of black. Which is Colin. Poor old Colin. A bit more walking for Colin. So Black will be going, aiming to uh, go to the left of the hoop, or the right of the hoop, maybe, or even through the back. You never know with Colin. Comes in now, hits away, he's going for the back, and he's missed. Because he hit the left hand post and has stopped it, so it's uh, not a good position to be in, exactly where he is, and uh, yellow to shoot, which is um, Anne-Marie from Doubtless Bay. 
and she was wanting to get their team ahead. It's three all at the stage, and uh, she's come up. Oh, she drew up close to it, but uh, not went off a little bit to the left-hand side. She hadn't put herself in a good position to uh, sink the ball. And Trevor here on the sideline. And behind the, uh, the fence line there. Goes in, gets himself in position. Yes, good position to be in. It'll be red to uh, play next, and red will. Uh, We will be going to get Black out of the road. Yes, he does. Makes a fine shot, Glenn. New player of the game, uh, Glenn, from Doubtless Bay. One of the new ones in the, in the Northland area. And I see we've got the uh, president of the Northland Association here today, John Cullen and his wife, Wendy. Okay, so uh, we'll have a chat with him after. Maybe a little bit of an interview. Very short in the day. Colin from out wide with the black ball coming in towards the uh, the hoop. Gets himself up there. Nice little shot. But he's gone behind the blue ball, behind his partner's ball, which in the, and it'll make it a bit hard for his partner to, to have the next shot. So uh, Anne-Marie, what's she going to do? She's going to uh, try and get herself in the hoop or round about it so that she doesn't get knocked out. She's done it there, so it's a Fine shot uh, there, played by Andrew from Doubtless Bay. And we have uh, Trevor is uh, trying to get over the top of that board, just move it slightly for himself and his partner to have a shot. And uh, Glenn from Doubtless Bay. Going to block blue. Black's going to have a shot at uh, at what? What's he going to do now? Interesting to see. Colin, normal all day tournament, would just have a have a jump shot, have a go, and uh, this time he hasn't. He's had a go at uh, hitting the yellow out on the left hand side, but hit the post and said so. Anne Marie will say thank you for that, and uh, I'll just get a bit of a. A regular on here and go through the hoop, and she does. So uh, they go ahead now by four to three. The uh, doubtless bay side. So that'd be Colin Shot. Thought we'd lost it there, but. Uh, Good shot coming up from uh, Colin from uh, Kensington, but uh, goes to the left-hand side and behind. And Marie has a go with the yellow ball. She gets it up. Uh, coming up towards the hole. And yeah, good, good position she's in now. And... Uh, couple of deem shots here because uh, this is one of the, the latest rules that come in. If your shot is unplayable, you deem it. But uh, don't know what happens here after you have four deems. Must be a ruling on that. But anyway, Colin having a shot on the yellow. Gets rid of yellow. Gets rid of uh, Doubtless Bay. Puts him out to uh, the left-hand side. But Anne-Marie will just patiently come back inside and uh, put herself in the hole or uh, in the hoop. Draw it. She's gone past it on the right-hand side, so uh, Colin getting lined up to have a shot, and it's not his turn. But never mind, he's not going to have a shot. I hope. Not blue. Uh, Trevor has a shot, gets her out of the road, and Trevor's uh, Colin's played out of turn. He's uh, not with it at the moment. Must be late in the afternoon. Colin's decided I want to have a shot now. I can't wait for my turn. So uh, never mind. <laughs> 
Cameraman could have told you, but never mind, I didn't. Um, Glenn comes up from Doubtless Bay and uh, puts it too far past the uh, the hoop as well. Too much energy. He must have had a big lunch, if he's had lunch yet. And Trevor from Kensington now. He's marked his ball while the... Uh, I was going to say the girls, but it's not. The Selwyn's playing on that team over there, so, uh, you know, Selwyn and, uh, and Cheryl playing against Lynn and Marge. Collins had his shot now. He's, he's entitled to have his turn now. Emery lining up to uh, give him a, a lesson to get rid of him. Gets it away. Makes it harder for Colin to come up. It's uh, like the changing the guard out there, changing the uh, the markers. So Trevor's uh, had his ball marked. You now he's marked Marge's ball, and Trevor's uh, had his shot from Kensington coming up towards the uh, hoop. Good shot this time, coming through, hits himself in the middle of the uh, hoop. Good old Glenn at the background for Doubtless Bay. Putting himself in a position to uh, get rid of him. And he did. And uh, now he'll tell you that that's why he played in that position a long shot before. So, uh, it's black to play and it's uh, Colin with the black ball. He comes up. Comes up and knocks the left hand post and sits in front. So... Uh, and Marie will sort of get rid of one of these. Choice of two. And it's not choice of two, it's choice of two. So uh, Anne Marie just going to have a word with her partner to see what, what he thinks they should do. So, uh, <coughs> Doubtless Bait, who have a shot, and uh, what's she going to do? She's uh, getting rid of the blue. Black's still in line for it. But, uh, Blue's going to uh, have his shot. Tactical play here. What's he going to try and do? He's trying to come in the back of the... Right, uh, going as a second shot there. So wise thinking. And Glenn will be going to... Uh, he can hit the black. and probably go through the hole. Called an in-off shot. And he's going to... No, he's come to the left-hand side of it. Get himself out to there to the uh, so uh, Colin looking at the next hole thinks he's uh, pretty confident of getting the ball through. So uh, and we have a draw now. It's uh, four hoops all. Black getting that ball. That was Colin from. Uh, Kensington, Emery to shoot away to the right hand side to the uh, eighth, uh, to the ninth hoop. Good shot played by Emery, slightly, slightly far, but uh, Trevor with a shot across the face of the uh, the ninth hoop there, and uh, we have Glenn shooting away from that right hand side where he put himself, and another good shot. If he had a bit, a bit more beans, he'd have been there. Another couple of feet. Colin out to the uh, right hand side over the. And away they go out to the. The middle of the show. Good shot by Colin from Kensington, putting them in a good position. Uh, where's the blue ball? Blue ball's um, way over the other side. And so uh, Emery is uh, for Doubtless Bay. She's uh, got a shot on the, the ninth hoop. She's going to come in. No, she just passed the uh, left hand post there, and uh, which just causes a bit of strife. But never mind. It's a game. As I say, it's only a game, but uh, when it's competition, it's a bit harder. You've got to try hard, try it the best, but as long as you enjoy it. 
Trevor comes in from uh, Kensington now with the blue ball. He's just going to put himself in position because red and yellow are not in a good position to actually hoop the uh, get the hoop. Ooh. Glenn going for the big hit there up to there. Colin with the black ball. Can he put himself ahead? He'll go ahead 5-4 after this. If he gets this hoop, he's right out in front. Not an easy shot. People say it's one of the easy shots, but it's not. I can assure you of that. He's put himself in the hole. I think he's the left of the hole too. It's just um, so he won't stay there long. I think Amory will just give him a bit of a, a bumper here and uh, bump him out of the road. She did. And open it up for Trevor, mind you. Trevor will come in and shoot the hoop and uh, he'll go to the... And he's missed it too. As I say, these new international uh, hoops are quite difficult. They're made of stainless steel and uh, a bit harder to uh, get through the hoop. But, uh, and Glenn was going for the in-off shot there for Doubtless Bay, but uh, didn't seem to didn't pay off. He didn't have the right line. Black. Colin. What's Colin going to do? Colin's going to... Uh, have a shot on it, or is he going to just draw it up and uh, block off yellow? Guess he got rid of yellow, of course. Um, no, he's just going to try and make it difficult for Emery from <laughs> Doubtless Bay to have a shot. So uh, she's going to try and uh, go over the top of it, but it's a very difficult shot from there because. You, you mustn't hit it with the edge, you must hit it with the centre of the face, or the face of the uh, mallet. So it's... Uh, a difficult shot, she's uh, going to have a look at the line and see if she can get it there. It's quite competitive as our Anne-Marie. Not our memory, but uh, one of the players in the. She had a go, and she missed, but she had a go. Very difficult shot to, to uh, attempt for a start, but uh, Blue goes through, shoots the hoop. So on the ninth hoop, uh, Blue, uh, Trevor, and uh, Colin go ahead by five games to five hoops to uh, four. Glenn with his shot going up. Um, Colin for shooting for Kensington. Doubtless Bay with Anne Marie trying to get herself up the other end on the tenth hoop. Trevor brings his ball up in a nice little positioning ball about a metre from out in front of the hoop. Good play by Trevor. And now we have uh, Glenn with the red ball from Doubtless Bay. What can he do about this? He can uh, try and get himself across in front of the blue ball. Or hit the blue ball. And a nice shot by Glenn from Doubtless Bay. Getting and putting it right on the black. So black's next turn and he's going to he's gonna either help his partner out, get it closer, or it's probably not a, a good idea. Oh, yeah. Can do. Okay. And Colin he'll just have a shot. He brought his partner up really nicely and put him in front of the hoop. And Marie will try and fix that at the moment. And uh, yellow. Doubtless by Croquet Club. 
put herself in front of the hoop now. Blue. Trevor's going to uh, try and move it, I think, I would say. Read his thoughts. Trevor from Kensington. Goes for the hoop, puts it in the hoop, in the hole, and uh, now they've got to get him out. So what's Glenn going to do? He's going to try a jump shot, or he's going to try and... Uh, Bit of a tricky one this way because when they get in a hoop like that, they are a bit difficult to get out unless you're behind. So, uh, I know what uh, Anne Marie would have said to him move yellow behind the hoop. Oh no, it pushed blue a little bit further into the hoop. And uh, has it gone in? No, it's not. Well, black's going to finish it off. Colin's going to turn around and put it in the hoop. And uh, they go ahead by six points to four after the shot. If he gets it, of course. Oh, no, he didn't hit the yellow away. Put her in a better position to knock the blue out. So that was, uh, it wasn't obviously what Colin wanted to do from uh, Kensington. But he's done it. It's too late. Once it's gone, it's gone. Oh, Anne-Marie comes up with a shot and uh, decided, uh, she didn't decide, decide at all. She just hit a little bit hard. And now we have the, uh, situation where Trevor has gone through the hoop and he's uh, now it's 6-4, six hoops to four hoops with um, the team from Kensington Trevor and Colin beating, leading, leading the uh, team from <laughs> Doubtless Bay. So a bit of a hold up here because I think we're going to cross the, I oh know we're going to, to the centre, so it'll be Glenn's turn. Glenn from uh, Doubtless Bay trying to put himself in front of the hole. He's just gone a little bit far. And this can happen quite easy. Colin, how does Colin get out of this? Yeah, good shot. Pulls it out. He's about two and a half metres away from the uh, hoop now. So, and Marie from Doubtless Bay coming across, trying to get her partner. Man, nice shot out in front of the uh, hoop now. If somebody doesn't move it, <laughs> she liked that shot. Obviously, putting a thumbs up. Uh, for Cameron got it, of course. Trevor. Quite sure what happened there with Trevor, but I didn't mind. Coming through now. He's coming through all the way <laughs> and past the, the hoop, but uh, never mind. It's, uh, so Glenn's uh, shot here. He'll be trying to cover the uh, yellow. To, Yellow ball with a shot. Colin will uh, have a look at the situation, see what he can do. As I say, in an all day time, I've seen this, this guy have a shot at the jumping. Haven't seen many jump shots today. Maybe they're happening on two, three, and four courts. And it goes to the right hand side. So he must have been able to get there. Anne Marie has a shot now right in front for the uh, Doubtless Bay Club. And she draws it and bounces it out. So it's uh, Trevor to, uh, with his shot. And he'll be trying to uh, get up in front of. Uh, Take black. He's moved black, and I think that was probably the answer. He tried to uh, block the hole, but uh, he's sort of opened it up a little bit for um, Glenn from the Doubtless Bay to come up, and he's missed the shot. He should have been going for the end off as well. Got two shots at it there. When you see a ball and a hoop, you just go for the ball and the right hand hoop, and sometimes it'll go in. Not this time. Colin. 
shooting up, gets rid of the yellow. That's a doubtless bay. They'll have to come back and get themselves in front. She'll get herself in front of the blue. Mm, sort of. Oh, and a good shot by Trevor. Trevor puts it through, goes ahead by seven points to four. Seven hoops to four in the uh, game number four here in the uh, Real Way Rose Bowl tournament game. So it, there it is, seven games to four with the uh, team. We'll uh, go over to the uh, secondary colours and watch them for a bit before we change. Probably Selwyn shot, I should say. He's um, taking his time. Seems to take a while, or Selwyn. Well, he's been taught by somebody who knows about the game, and uh, there's no hurry. He's going to use one of his biscuit again, is he? No. no, he's not. Makes the game interesting, I suppose, but uh, can not. Uh, your opposition off to uh, take so long. Now he's going, you know, he's uh, given his bisque. Um, as I say, he's got about four bisques in every game he's played, uh, Selwyn, so uh, he's using them, using them wisely. Gets rid of uh, Green at uh, Lynn's ball from uh, Kaitaia. It's the four Kaitaia, Kaitaia people playing off here at the moment. It's uh, Marge, Marge, uh, Marge a shot. Now she's going to come in and go and try and get in front of that, um, in front of the hoop. Good ball. Uh, she's going to use a bisque, you know, and this is a time of late. If it's late in the game, I think it's six hoops, so this must be just about the seventh hoop they're playing, so, uh, she gets rid of the pink ball, so that's the idea of using her bisque at that stage. And now Selwyn's got to come back in and put himself in in the front. So, uh, that's Cheryl. Cheryl from the back there. She's trying to come up, and it's a good shot. Ooh, gone past. Lynn. She doesn't waste any time now, Lynn. Selwyn. Selwyn coming across with the pink ball for Kai Tai. As I say, it's Kai Tai versus Kai Tai here. It's all about championship at the end of the day with the uh, wins and losses as who uh, plays in the semis and the finals. So this is the fourth game of the uh, the day. Primary, of course. And Cheryl uh, coming up to play her shot. She's back behind, so... Her partner is the uh, pink. You've got to concentrate on a game like this when you're on the second colours is what colours are. There's, it goes green, pink, brown, white, and uh, so not easy. Special bond player. The Cheryl with the ball now, playing the white for, Ken uh, for Kaitaia. She was trying to go through the back there and uh, make it a little bit difficult from the, uh, for the others. Get that through. Looks like they're just about to start the um, the fifth game, I think, over here on number one. So we'll we'll call that. I don't know how they're getting on the score here, but the game with the main game was the uh, seven four to the uh, who was it? <laughs> it? Wasn't doubtless Bay. It was the opposition. It was uh, K 
Kensington. Kensington won at 7 4. So that's it. Uh, Peter Bogue uh, from Pete's filming saying uh, goodbye for this game and we'll be back for the fifth game shortly.